You love building your vocabulary. Great. Today we're going to go over a bunch of words relating to the car. This is a vocabulary builder video. You're going to learn the English words for lots of things in the car, and you're also going to learn the pronunciation. You'll see the phonetic symbol on screen for each word. Practice the words out loud with me. If there's anything unusual or especially difficult about the pronunciation, we'll talk about it. Let's get started. The steering wheel. Steering wheel. Steering is two syllables. The ing ending is always unstressed. It has an r in it, which can be a tricky sound. Make sure you hold it out. Steering. If you can't, steering. Ra, 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 ra. Then you're making it with the wrong part of the tongue. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. The tongue tip should be pulled back and up a little bit so it's not touching anything. Wheel. WH words like wheel can be pronounced w or w without the before. I think it's easier just to use the W sound. Wheel, wheel, steering wheel. Say that with me. Steering wheel, steering wheel. The steering wheel. This is the gear shift. We have a P for park. R for reverse, N for neutral, and D for drive. Gear shift, gear shift, gear, ear. That's the same combination as steer, ear, gear shift. Say that with me. Gear shift, gear shift. This is the gear shift. We have a P for park. Park, park, all vowel plus R. Lots of my students say something like park without dropping the jaw. Do drop your jaw. Get a clear aw ah vowel before the R. Par, park. Say that with me. Park, park. We have a P for park, R for reverse, Reverse. Two syllables, and the first syllable is really short. R, r, r. Reverse. Say that with me. Reverse. Reverse. R for reverse, N for neutral. Neutral. Many Americans make the TR cluster sound like CHR. Neutral. Ch, ch. Try that with me. Neutral. Neutral. N for neutral and D for drive. Drive. Some people, especially Japanese speakers, have a problem with R and L. Remember, it's not live with the tongue tip forward, but drive. Drrrr. With the tongue tip pulled back and up a little bit. Drrrr. So it's not touching anything. Try that with me. Drive. Drive. And D for drive. We have the emergency brake or parking brake. Emergency brake or parking brake. Emergency. Stress is on that second syllable. Emergency. Emergency. Try that with me. Emergency. Emergency brake. Parking brake. Remember, the ing ending is unstressed. Parking brake. Say that with me. Parking. Parking brake. We have the emergency brake or parking brake. This is the dashboard. Dashboard. Stress on the first syllable. Dash. Board. Try that with me. Dash. Board. Dashboard. Dashboard. This is the dashboard. Here's the rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Two words with two R sounds. This is so hard. Rear and mirror have the same sound combination except for the first consonant. 
ear, ear. This is just like steer in steering wheel. The tongue tip is forward, touching the back, the bottom front teeth, and then just lifts and pulls back a little bit, ear, so it's not touching anything. Rear, near, rear view mirror. Re-emphasize the R for the second syllable of mirror. Mirror, mirror. Let's try the whole thing together slowed down. Say it out loud with me. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. And now at regular pace. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Here's the rear view mirror. Ooh, that sun's bright. Let's pull down the visor. Visor. Even though the letter O is in the second syllable, don't try to make a vowel. Vise. Er, er, er. Just the R sound. Visor. Visor. Try that with me. Visor. Ooh, that sun's bright. Let's pull down the visor. I've been driving a long time. Time for a snooze. Good thing I have this headrest. Ah. Headrest. Compound words like this have stress on the first word. Head. Rest. Try that with me. Head rest, head rest, head rest. Good thing I have this head rest. Ah. This area is the console. Console. This word ends with a dark L. Sol, ol, ol. Tongue tip stays down, and the back of the tongue pushes down and back a little bit. Ol, ol. Console. Try that with me. Console. Console. This area is the console. Always buckle up. This is the seat belt. Seat belt. Another compound word, stress on the first word. Seat belt. Notice I'm making both T's stop T's. Seat belt. I'm not releasing them like t, a true T. Seat belt, seat belt. Say that with me. Seat belt, seat belt. This is the seat belt. If you're having an emergency and need to pull over, turn on your hazards, also called four ways. Hazards. Even though you see the letter A in the second syllable, has erds. You can leave out the vowel, just R, D, S. Erds, erds, erds. Hazards. Try that with me. Hazards. Hazards. If you're having an emergency and need to pull over, turn on your hazards, also called four ways. We've got our driver's seat, passenger seat, and back seat. The driver's seat, the passenger seat, the back seat. Notice that we have the apostrophe S, but you can't really hear it because the next word begins with an S. The two S's blend together into one sound to link the words. Driver's seat. Passenger's seat. Try that with me. Driver's seat. Passenger's seat. We've got our driver's seat, passenger seat, and back seat. Back seat. We have a couple of interesting ways that we use this term in English. A backseat driver is one who gives too much input on driving when they're not driving. It can also mean of less importance, and we often use it in the negative. I won't take a backseat to him. That means I won't let him or his ideas be more important or prominent than mine. I won't take a backseat to him. And backseat. Now, if you're going to be riding in the car and you want to make sure you get this seat, you'll want to yell, shotgun. Yelling shotgun. Yelling or calling shotgun. I don't know how this phrase got started, but you say it when you want to sit in the front seat of the car. Shotgun. Stop T there. Shot. Gun. Say that with me. Shotgun. Shotgun. Now, if you're going to be riding in the car and you want to make sure you get this seat, you'll want to yell, shotgun. Here's the floor mat. Floor mat. 
floor. Phonetically, this would be written with the aw as in law vowel, but before r, this vowel is much more closed. The lips round more, and the back of the tongue pulls back more. Flo -o -o floor, floor, floor mat. Say that with me. Floor mat, floor mat. Here's the floor mat, and we have the gas pedal and the brake. Gas pedal, ga, a. We have the a vowel, gas, gas pedal. Try that with me. Gas pedal, gas pedal. And we have the gas pedal and the brake. Brake. This is a homophone and it's pronounced just like this other word, brake. Say that with me. Brake, brake. And we have the gas pedal and the brake. Side mirror. Side mirror. Okay, we already went over the tricky word mirror. Here it is again. The word before it, side, ends in a D. Just make a little sound with the vocal cords, side. Mm, 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 before the next word. You don't need to release the D, side, side, side mirror. Say that with me, side mirror, side mirror, side mirror. And here is the car seat. Car seat, just like park. You need to drop your jaw to get a good ah vowel before the R. Car, car, car seat. Say that with me, car seat, car seat. And here is the car seat. Trunk. Trunk. Remember the TR cluster can be pronounced C-H-R. Trunk or trunk. Try that with me. Trunk. Trunk. This is the same word that's used for the trunk of a tree. Trunk. License plate. License plate. Both the letter C and the letter S make the S sound here. License, license plate. Say that with me. License plate, license plate. License plate and tires. Tires. Remember for the R, the tip of the tongue is pulled back and up. Tire, tire, tires. Try that with me, tires. 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 Here's the antenna. Antenna. Stress on the middle syllable. Antenna. Try that with me. Antenna. Antenna. Here's the antenna. And this is where you can get to the gas tank. Gas tank. Both of these words are written phonetically with the a ah vowel. But this vowel is followed by the ng sound here, and it's not really an a ah vowel anymore. A, ah, gas, but tank, ang, hmm. It's more like the a diphthong. Gas, a, ah, tank, ang. Try that with me. Gas tank, gas tank. And this is where you can get to the gas tank. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. It's common to drop the D between two other consonants and we definitely do that here. Windshield. Windshield. No D. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Try that with me. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. And the hood. I actually have no idea how to open this thing. Hood. Double O making the O uh sound like in look, cook, and foot. Hood. Say that with me. Hood. Hood. And the hood. I actually have no idea how to open this thing. Headlights. Headlights. Compound word, stress on the first word. Head. Lights. Say that with me. Headlights. 
headlights. Headlights. And in here, you would find the engine and all that other good stuff that I don't know anything about. Engine. Stress on the first syllable. The second syllable should be said very quickly. Gin, gin, gin. Engine. Say that with me. Engine. Engine. Headlights. And in here, you would find the engine and all that other good stuff that I don't know anything about. Had to come over to our trusty VW for this one, where we have a manual transmission. That's different from the automatic transmission in the other car. Manual versus automatic. Look, both of these words have the stressed a ah vowel in the stressed syllable. But the vowel isn't pure before a nasal consonant. Here it's before the N, so it relaxes into a. Uh. Man. Manual. 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 Try that with me. Manual. Manual. Automatic has a pure A. Automatic. Notice both of those T's are flap T's. Not true T's. Automatic. Automatic. Say that with me. Automatic. Automatic. Had to come over to our trusty VW for this one, where we have a manual transmission. That's different from the automatic transmission in the other car. Another common word for manual in the U.S. is stick shift. Try that with me. Stick shift. Stick shift. Now we have a third pedal, the clutch. Clutch. This word is also used idiomatically. I go over that use of it in a podcast I recently did on slang. Click here to check it out. I'll also put a link in the description. Clutch. Try that with me. Clutch. Clutch. Now we have a third pedal, the clutch. Don't forget the horn. Horn. Just like floor in floor mat, we have the all vowel followed by R. The all vowel is a little bit more closed. Ho, o, horn, horn. Try that with me. Horn, horn. Don't forget the horn. <coughs> airbag. We have an airbag in the steering wheel here. Airbag. Another compound word, so stresses on the first word. Airbag. Airbag. Drop your jaw before that R. Air. Airbag. Try that with me. Airbag. 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 We have an airbag in the steering wheel here. On the manual, we have reverse and then five different gears. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. First, second, third, fourth, fifth gears. These are all ordinal numbers different from one, two, three, four. I know they can be tricky to pronounce and I made a whole video on these words. Click here or in the description. Practice them with me. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. On the manual, we have reverse and then five different gears. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Here we have vents. Air vents. Compound word, even though there's a space, stress on the first word. Air vents. Try that with me. Air vents. Air vents. Here we have vents. Climate control. Climate control. Even though this second syllable looks like it might be what some people call a long A, mate, climate, it's not. It's really short, mit, mit, climate, climate control. Try that with me. Climate control, climate control. Climate control. The radio. Radio. Three syllables stress on the first one. Ray, dio, radio. Try that with me. Radio, radio. The radio. 
Odometer. Speedometer. Odometer. Speedometer. For both of these, the stress is on the syllable just before the suffix meter. Odometer. Speedometer. Notice the T's here are flaps. Try these words with me. Odometer. Speedometer. Odometer. Speedometer. This is called the grill of the car. Grill. Dark L. Grill. Keep the tongue tipped down and pull the back part of the tongue back a little bit. Bowl. Bowl. Grill. Grill. I don't mention it, but the part under the grill is the bumper. My bumper really helps me when I'm parallel parking. Bumper. Say that with me. Bumper. Bumper. Gas gauge. Gas gauge. The word gauge is funny because the first G is pronounced G and the second G is pronounced J. Gas gauge. Try that with me. Gas gauge. Gas gauge. Gas gauge. Here we have the cruise control. Cruise control. You know, when we went over climate control, I didn't really talk about control, did I? Keep the first syllable really short. Don't even try to put a vowel in there. Con, con, con. Control. Control. Cruise control. Try that with me. Cruise control. Cruise control. Here we have the cruise control. Here we have the glove compartment. What kinds of interesting things do you have in yours? Glove compartment. Two stop T's in compartment. Glove compartment. Try that with me. Glove compartment. Glove compartment. Whew, that's a lot of terms. If some of these words are tricky for you, slow them down and practice them lots of times in a row. They will get more comfortable. If you liked this vocabulary video, see my other vocabulary builder videos here. I'll also link to the playlist in the description. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. If you want to see my absolute latest video, click here. If you're new to the channel, check out this Where to Start playlist. Click here to subscribe. I make new videos on American English every Tuesday. To be sure we can keep in touch, click here to sign up for my newsletter. You'll get free lessons in your inbox every week.